everyone. Um, my name is Tanapon Lila Sadaponkit. Um, I'm from Footpath AI. Uh, we are a startup company based in Sydney, Australia. Um, so today, um, I'm proud to present you our work at Footpath AI. Um, oh, I'm a CTO of Footpath AI. Um, and um, I want to show you how we can uh, use uh, sidewalk view imageries uh, to help with mappings. So, um, so Footpath AI is a map platform. Uh, we use AI and computer vision um, to extract information from sidewalk view imageries for mappings, sidewalk networks, and also relevant data from that. We are building a large scale global data set containing high resolution 360 degrees um, sidewalk images that enable um, detailed urban furniture, uh, such as where the garbage bins are, where the uh, accessible ramps on the sidewalks are, uh, all the infrastructures that the city council would uh, be interested in, and also people, pedestrians would be interested as well. Um, um, and we can also build 3D model reconstructions from this data set as a 3D point cloud as well. So, uh, so far we collect data from 10 cities uh, across the globe. Uh, many of them are in Asia Pacific, uh, including Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, from Australia, uh, Bangkok from Thailand, so from Korea, Manila and Legaspi from the Philippines. Um, and other cities such as London, San Diego, and San Francisco. So we're still ex, uh, collecting more data. Um, and um, our workflow begin with uh, data collection. So we work with many contractors to help us collect data uh, with our 360 degrees uh, cameras and GPS trackers such as mobile phones. Um, so it could be a small camera like GoPro uh, with panoramic uh, features that can capture 360 degrees, or it can be like a six camera that you can see on the backpack there. So, um, or it can be mounted on a, a robots that can be on a sidewalk as well. So, and this is the GPS data that we collect. And um, we um, put part AI also, um, enables communities to contribute to the neighborhood walkability by uh, capturing and sharing sidewalk view imageries um, while also getting paid. So last month, we recruit high school students in regional New South Wales who help us collect um, their neighborhood. Uh, for example, Joshua here, uh, he walked around 30 kilometers uh, in Maitland, New South Wales, in regional New South Wales. Um, so he was collects that data within, um, I think a week that he collect. So, um, we plan to expand our recruitment to work eligible youth throughout the college and high schools and universities, jobs around the world as well. Um, so that is part is a data collection. So from this process, we have images and we have a uh, GPS location for those. Now, uh, I think the more exciting part for us, uh, so on each images, we use our pre-trained AI models to identify and estimate, their, uh, estimate what the objects are and their distances. So the image on the right is um, the RGB imageries. In the middle, it's a classifies um, with different object classes with different colors. And on the left is the monocular depth estimation model. So it's pretty much estimate how far each objects are. Um, since all the images are geotagged with GPS data, uh, we can systematically estimate the location of every object that you can see um, in the video. So, so that is the machine learning part. Um, now we have all the data. Uh, now we can create GIS data from the machine learning models that I just show. Um, so these are the objects that pick up by our models. So these are the combinations of semantic segmentation model and depth estimation models. Um, so this map has trees, um, bicycle parking racks, garbage bins, benches, um, representing in point geometry, as you can see from different circle with different colors. Uh, and also sidewalk and crosswalks are also represented in pink and green color respectively. Um, this data can be useful for city council, uh, for infrastructure management um, and maintenance, and also for 
general uses, such as cyclists who are looking for a place to park their bike in the city. So with this data, you can know beforehand where you can park. Um, we can also, we are working on expanding our model to capture post box, uh, phone booths, and other relevant information that could be useful for uh, street crawler. Um, so now we have our GIS data ready. Um, oh, one another example for uh, our use case is uh, a shading map. So as um, as we heard from the keynotes yesterday and also just a talk just a moment ago um, from cats that um, the the heat uh, the heat related death is one of the public health concerns um, and heat wave is one of Australia's deadliest environmental disaster. So shading map um, can can identify which part of the city um, has more or less canopy in the city, or which bus we can also identify which bus stop is more susceptible to heat wave. So with this uh, data, I think we can we can help the uh, planning better. Um, so with all this data, I just want to show you. Um, we also uh, want to contribute back to the communities. So whatever, so the data that we also collect, we also want to upload it on OSMs, um, so other people can make use out of them as well. So um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you just a quick demo of how we can upload this on JOSM quickly. Uh, so first, we just uh, import uh, our file for in this example the bench from uh, into JOSM. And then we can um, assign the presets that GSM has. Uh, in this case, is um, under preset facility and bench. But then we can apply the presets into um, the data point that pick up by the models. Then we can upload them um, into GSM um, with just click just a click on upload button. Um, write some comments um, and yep, yeah, and that's. Um, and that's pretty much a very simple process that uh, simplify the whole workflow. So our work here is not to undermine the work of the mapping communities, um, but I think this is uh, just a showcase of what AI tool can be useful and the humans can help us validate whether these data really, uh, these objects are really there, but these two just help you get started with. So um, that's what we're trying to achieve here. So we can repeat the same process that was benches. We can do it for rubbish bins and also the parking uh, cycling racks as well. Um, and so that's that. And in, uh, in this map, it's just a showcase that uh, the snapshot from OSM uh, show that the benches, bicycle, parking racks, and rubbish bins um, can be found on OSM. Um, very, uh, so it's very simplified process. Um, so, and just to tell you a little bit about ourselves, so our team, so Food I was founded in 2021 by my PhD supervisor, Dr. Mia Sabri and myself. Um, Mia is an associate professor in the School of Civil and Environmental Engineering at UNSW. Uh, he has extensive experience in academia and managing different consulting projects with Australian governments um, and also different um, industry partners um, and a little bit more about me, besides working for Foodpath.ai, I am also a postdoc um, researcher at Uni University of New South Wales. My research has been mainly around active transport, mainly walking and cycling models. Um, yeah, and um, at Foodpath.ai, we want to make a more walkable place with a better maps data. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested, um, I'm happy to have a chat afterward, and you can contact me using the email or follow us on uh, LinkedIn as well. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.